Hey everyone and welcome to Windows Report and in this video I'll show you what to do if you get the error failed to play test tone. So the first solution you should always take in consideration is to update your drivers. To do so right click the Windows button, then select device manager from the list of options. Now in here simply go to the audio inputs and outputs and select the problematic device, let's say speakers. Because I have multiple interfaces I will choose speakers, so right click on it, then select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to install the best drivers available already on your computer. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to install the high definition audio driver. Now to do so right click the Windows button then head over to device manager and in here scroll down until you find the sound video and game controllers. Now right click on the problematic device and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers just like in the first solution and then if you find any update just install it. Otherwise you can click on search for updated drivers on Windows Update and from here on we move to the next solution which is updating your Windows operating system. In here just click on the check for updates button and Windows will try to search for the latest updates available on the internet and if it finds any it will download and install them automatically. Then you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Audio Service. To do so, press the Windows button, type in Services and then select it as an administrator from the search results. Now in here scroll down until you find the Windows Audio Service, it's quite there at the end of this list. Double click on it, then click on Stop and then Start again. You can also select the startup type to be on automatic, then click on apply and ok. Alternatively, if you want the easy way, right click on the service and select the restart option. Then you can check if the problem still persists. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.